Look, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna play out. I really don't. Ah, um, this is the skirt I wanna wear. Okay, I wanna look kinda punky. So, because I wanna look kinda punky, I'm gonna wear this. This washed. Oh yes, it was. I can smell this day soft. The comforts, I can smell it. All right, so we're gonna wear this skirt. Don't go around burping, that's rude. Where is the mesh bodysuit? Yo, kibele kai luna. Chue, banaba skolo sa runa. Is I get some bodysuit tele kai? This is also a very nice one. It shows the, but it's long sleeve. Well, the mesh one is too. But it shows the boob situation in the front. It's just kind of, it's kind of cute, but no. <laughs> I want the mesh one, okay? I don't know where it is. Ah, here we go. Here we go. So then we have Miss Mesh here, right? So with mesh, I, I can't iron it. It looks so creased. Shucks. Uh, this is why you need those irons. It's like the shop. It's just shh. The steam irons. This is why you need that. This is for situations like this. Okay, smells all right. I always, am I the only one who always smells my clothes before I wear them? Even though I know that they're clean, but I always have to smell them before I wear them. So here, okay. And then I'm thinking, uh, so I have these, which I think are so cute. So I have these, which I got from my chai name, right? And I think they are just absolutely so cute, right? So they get up to the ankle, just like that. It's slightly above the ankle. And then you wear it with like a cute court shoe. You know, punky prots. Um, there's also this one. So this one's got, these ones have like the pearls on the top. And then this one's got bows. I don't know. But I feel like I need to try out the outfit first. I also love these, but these are for a different day. These I got from Fashini. Look at that pattern. Love it. But for a different day. For a different day. Okay. Best thing to do, let's try on the outfit first. Before we put our makeup on, let's try on the outfit. Right. Let's, let's try it. Let's try it on. Just try it on. But now the problem is shoes. I don't know what I'm going to wear for shoes. But um, let's go. Let's. Let's try on this outfit. Guys, this could be very tricky. Ooh, look at how much brighter it is in the office. <laughs> so this is the look. So it is an all black affair. And that's the shoes. And look at those cute ass socks. Oops, oops. Look at that. They're so cute. But the shoes are not the most comfortable. I'm not even going to lie. But the outfit is stunning. I love the whole bra idea, okay? Um, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see a little bit of my skin. I love the whole bra idea, but I think it's doing a bit too much. I think I need to put on a vest underneath, which I will, but the shoes and the... I feel like that is absolutely stunning. It's stunning. <sighs> oh... La 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 le, la la le la la. I love it, but these shoes are not the most comfortable. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. These shoes are uncomfortable for shit. No, they are comfortable, but I'll be standing most of the time. And good sis, okay. Ta la la la. la. Right. So the look itself is stunning. I absolutely love it, but I am going to put on a vest underneath. I think. It's cute, but I think for 5 p.m. I don't think so. <laughs> it's cute, but for 5 p.m. I don't think so. Um, if I was wearing this at like 8 o'clock at night, this whole vibe would go. Because good sis is in doubt here, okay? And I don't want the center of attention to be here. So I think I will wear a vest underneath. Just for the sake of keeping it like that. But um, the shoes are absolutely stunning.
It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why are you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. You're here with me, babe, cause you're all that I crave, so I wonder, where are you, where are you, where are you, don't hide away from me, when I need you most, we got love guaranteed, and I have to know, say, Just pick up your phone, tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know. Let me know when you're ready, cause I made reservations. Too many invitations, and the last night was heavy. heavy. I need communication, tell me where's your location. Used to talk 24-7, every other... So this is the fit. It's a pity that it's so late, you're not going to be able to see it but it is so cute i think i'm gonna end off this vlog here because there's a lot of vlog content that's going to be coming up in october so i'm going to end it off here and get to editing it and then there'll be two more other videos next week but yeah very cute it's got that whole punkish vibe i love it pixie punk yeah yeah love it too now it's closer to 11 and I ain't hearing nothing. I just need to know that you're okay. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Baby, don't hide away from me when I need you most. We got love guaranteed and I have to know. Say. Just pick up your phone, tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know. Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is you. Hey friends, it's the beginning of another vlog, or maybe mid that vlog, I'm not quite sure. I think with Vlogtober, all the vlogs just kind of mingle into one another, and that's okay too. So um, I just wanted to come on here, introduce the vlog, have a little bit of a chat with you. I spent most of the morning recording content, so my ass is tired. <laughs> I'm really, really tired. I'm so glad that I am done. I was recording a lot of content for Vlogtober, so I am so happy that it's done. Um, the temperature right now is 32 degrees because honestly what is this 32 32 sweetie do you see that okay so anyway um so i wanted to come on here introduce the vlog i don't know what this vlog is gonna have in store for you because that's the thing with vlogtober there's nothing really planned you just kind of go with everything um but i it is thursday today um i was so busy the whole week at work um doing documents reports tenders what what i was so so busy the whole week that we have all been given uh today off so exciting times exciting times so i use that to capitalize and actually just film content which i'm so glad i managed to do um, uh the last thing you saw i think with the other vlog is we went to the capucci event which was so exciting so much fun i really had a great time there with my sister uh they were launching so it used to be a tammy taylor uh, before but now it is now because Timmy Taylor is slowly phasing out of South Africa so it's now Capucci and we went there there was a lot of black stunning gorgeous women and uh, the theme was black which was also really nice to see everybody in black we took a lot of pictures I'll put them here so you can see them um, I typically don't go out that much so when I do go out I try to, to go all out in terms of dressing up and looking cute and all of that so we did that and that was fun 
Um, then we got a little goodie bag from there. Um, the other thing is uh, uh, those, you know, those small bottles of Prosecco? It's in my fridge right now. And I'm definitely going to have it later on tonight. Definitely. I didn't open it because um, I'm still fasting. <laughs> so I will definitely have a glass or two of Prosecco this evening, which I'm, I, I, I was like, well, this is nice. Uh, but the other two things that came out of the goodie bag, so that's the logo. Try it out. Try Capucci out. Uh, that's why I get my nails done. And you can see my nails are looking pretty good. And that time, they need a fill chair. But that's why I get my nails done. And um, so, this is so great. Uh, this is a voucher. We got a voucher? What in the world? Um... Uh, Oh my God, yes! Uh, for gel nails or a French fade, length one to four. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm gonna ask that it not be a French fade. Because my length is normally one to four. I'll talk to them. But this is so nice. Look, look at that. Stunning, stunning. That lady's eyes, okay? That lady has me thinking, hey girl. <laughs> Anyway, so we got the bottle of Prosecco, and I'm not sure what's in here because I didn't have a look. Oh my god, Matimela, and I love Matimela. Is this the lip butter? Yes! I have, um, if you've been watching me for years and years and years, you will know that I've used a number of products from Matimela uh, Home Spa, which they just, they've got great stuff. But one of my favorites in terms of the scents is the Baobab Seed one, which comes in a scrub and all of that so we got the hang on we got the lip butter here which i'm really oh i've got lip gloss on so i can't oh it smells amazing it's going straight to my bag it's going straight to my bag and then here we've got the intensive hand and nail repair of course very fitting um it's quite it's sealed and i don't want to be using my teeth and then you guys are like ah, i got little it's kind of ghetto so it's sealed but this one is it's also baobab seed so it probably is smells like this one so thank you for that it was really cute but i think the the whole purpose of of it was the the function man it was really nice to be around strong women business women you know have great conversations oh girl i am not gonna lose this chair have great conversations and all of that i really did have a great time for the first time in a very long time i got books now i haven't bought books in a really 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 long time i haven't bought books in a really long time um i've just been receiving books and reading the books that i have but i was just like you know what i've been trying to do you know solid things with my finances i'm trying to be very strict um i'm not using my money frivolously um i'm trying to look into investing there's a couple of things that you're going to see in the next couple of vlogs where uh, uh well not vlogs but a video that you're going to see um that i've just started doing focusing on my finances quite a bit investing considering another stream of income you will see all of that but i've been working on that for the past couple of weeks so because of that i've been very strict with my money um i've been very like eat at home cook at home that's why i am you've got a lot of food content at home because i'm cooking more at home i'm not going out as much i'm not uh, buying takeout as much and I'm just trying to be good with my finances but i decided to treat myself to two books that i haven't seen around in south african bookstores but i've seen on my favorite uh booktubers channels and things like that so i was just like nah picking it up so on netflix there's a movie called i'm thinking of ending things if you want to try it give it a shot it's quite dark it's really dark it's those movies that you watch and then you're like huh what did i just watch sorry what so it's really really dark but it's really really interesting 
and you feel like you want to watch it again that was based on a book called i'm thinking of ending things by an author called ian reed now this is faux and this is also from ian reed that cover is absolutely stunning i'm not crazy about the um, the beetles the dunk beetles or the scarab what do they call it what do the egyptians call it Scarab. Something I'll write it down here, but uh, I'm not crazy about the, the the Beatles, but I'm not really icked out by them either. If you want something to ick me out, you must give me a, a caterpillar, a centipede, things with long legs, and things with small holes. I just uh, I do have trypophobia. It's really bad. Like I will vomit. If I look at something that's got yo, I will vomit. Anyway, so this is Ian Reed's uh, foe, and it's about this married couple that live a really isolated but very quiet life on their farm. And uh, one day, a stranger from the city arrives with surprising news. Junior, which is the husband, has been randomly selected to travel far away from the farm, very far away. The most unusual part is arrangements have been already made so that when Junior leaves, Henrietta, who is the wife, won't have a chance to miss him at all because she won't be left alone, even for a moment. Henrietta will have company, familiar company. I don't know. It's saying a lot, but it's saying nothing at all. And I'm really excited about that. And then another one that I saw on Lala's channel and on Jordaline's channel. These are two people that I love. They're some of my favorite booktubers. Um, and I watch a lot of booktube. Um, this is a horror. And it's dark, dark. Okay, this is Sister Maiden Monster. If you don't like seeing funny images, there's an octopus and a brain and a this maybe just turn away but that's pretty much what it looks like it actually reminds me of the cover of the dangers of smoking in bed it's really dark like that and um this one is about a virus that tears across the world and it makes people turn into very strange gory nasty things and uh, it makes people act a certain way you know virus pandemia i know maybe a little bit too soon but maybe not but um i'm not going to be reading these anytime soon but uh i was really excited to pick those up Four by ian reed was actually 160 that's one of the reasons why i picked it up i'm like what this is crazy anyway so this is pretty much all i'm going to do for the rest of the day
think it's jealousy but hell with it still look a melody or maybe i got problems So extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my, all good all day. But the night, we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me what we on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high. be on that way trying to control our emotions if we on a rise out of passion we could share love in the ocean but if you want to go insane the way baby we could go all night we could do it all night we could go all night all night do we heal do we bleed i'm gonna follow you leave but we could go all night now all of my calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should the talk through it in detail I separate ways ain't gon' end well No But when we get back it's like oh my All bad all day but the night I Get that good good till we act right So tell me where we on the day babe I could keep that same energy When you go low I go low too But you'd rather stay high I know you can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that wave. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we could share love in the ocean. But if you want to go insane, either way, baby, we could go on. We could do it all night. We could go all night, all night. Do we heal? Do we bleed? I'm going to follow your lead. We could go all night. I've been calm, cool, collected, but you're pushing on my nerves. I want to see how you're looking. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hi, it's me. Yeah. You want it, no? I'm shooting content. Yeah. And my guy is, is over there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell me what I need to do. Do you need to just stand and look pretty? So, you're going to... What are you making? I'm making...
I'm kind of chilling in bed because I've got work to do. It's the end of the day. It is uh, 20 to 8. And I'm never really in bed at this time because I, there's always something that I could be doing downstairs and the kitchen or watching something or what what but I'm really pressed for time and there's quite a few things that I need to do um, so I'm going to be working for the remainder of the evening but before I continue with my work I just wanted um, so before I continue with my work I just wanted to give you a little bit of a taste of how the day went so Theo came over and we had to shoot some content for a sponsorship that's going to be happening um, very soon. You're going to be seeing it very soon. As soon as you see this vlog, let's give it a couple of days or a week or two and then you'll be seeing something. Um, but it's essentially surrounding finances and if you've been watching the vlogs regularly, you know that I've started talking, I started talking about finances, especially when, you know, um, managing money and things like that, when you're in social situations with girlfriends and things like that, and the pressure that that puts on us. But um, I think I'm trying to destigmatize talking about finances on my channel because I think that it's so important to fi up to speak about finances generally but um, and I can't do that safely without personally speaking about my finances and that that will never happen not only yeah um, but Theo came over today Theo is from uh, Black House Media it's, it's, he's he's the scorer behind Black House Media and uh, he does a lot of my sister's reels and he also does uh, some of mine. But this, I, I've literally, I haven't had that many reels, but I'll show you a reel that he did do. I'll put it somewhere here. And uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that reel that was done by Theo. And the one that uh, he did today, I already have it. And I'm just like, oh my God, I love you so much. <laughs> So not only, you know, do we have a professional relationship, but we're pretty cool with one another. We sit and we have chats. And uh, he's one of those guys that's just very smart up here, but also quite private about his life. He's those gents, you know, that are behind the camera and never necessarily in front of it. And I suggested something to him and I hope, I hope he follows through with what I said. I really do. Um, but uh, this, not only is this campaign finance related, but it's also Mental Health Awareness Month. And it's two days after, uh, is it two days? Yes, it's two days after World Mental Health Day. I tweeted a lot and I was busy on my social media because mental health is a very fundamental part of what I do, especially when it comes to the coaching, but mental health is also a very fundamental part to this channel um, and to my content specifically. Um, so on Mental Health Day, World Mental Health Day, I tweeted, I did what I needed to do for the social spaces. but. Also, I kind of just took that time on that day to just, outside of doing that, I really didn't want to switch the camera on. I just wanted to be really intentional about that day. And for me, finances are largely, largely attached to my mental health. They, they work like this, basically. So if I'm not in the best financial situation, my mental health is definitely going to tank. One of the reasons why I went away, one of the big reasons why I went away outside of, um, you know, all the other struggles, stresses that I have, uh, one of the big, big ones was finances because I am not comfortable if I'm not in a good financial position. And I think a lot of us aren't, but it's studies have also proven that um, your mental health is closely, your financial situation is closely tied to the um, strength of your mental health for many people. Um, so strength or, you know, distress of your mental health for many, many people. Um, so I, for me, have been really going through the absolute toughest time since 
really 2020 it's really really hit us hard in the industry that i'm in um you know construction engineering really took a knock because of the pandemia pandemic and uh it's been hard it's been hard to kind of re you know re-up from that uh we, i ended up having to use a lot of my savings i ended up having to make very difficult decisions just so that i can uh, maintain the life that I live but also stay afloat and also manage my uh, expenses and things like that so my budget was really really tight things are definitely still not perfect right now it's still really quite hard um, I find I, I, I find that I'm not really ready to have conversations like this and, and get into it but I can actually say that um, my mental health gets impacted quite a lot by my fin financial situation and I want us to be able to have those kinds of conversations where we can sit down and actually um, talk about things like this and destigmatize what finance um, and money and and not finance and money what finance and money um, conversations typically do in society right we need to destigmatize that um, so Theo came through today with his fine ass self. Theo's behind Black House Media. If you're looking for Theo, you can find him on. If you're looking for Theo, and maybe you're looking for a, 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 a bespoke videographer. Ta -ta -ra -ta 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 -ta. Um, just a really, really talented guy. You can find Theo at Black House on Instagram. It's B L A V K dot H O U S E. And you'll see, he's worked with a lot of people, famous people, not famous people like myself. I don't consider myself famous at that, at that. Uh, but he's worked with famous, famous people, you know what I'm saying? And he's exceptional at what he does. So uh, he's worked with a lot of brands as well, Ned Bank. Can Hugo Boss? But the but the but is he? He's just really good at what he does. Okay, so give him a follow, check him out. Um, but he's great. He's great. So I was just hanging out with him for the day, and we were both working because I had to edit the YouTube video, and he had to do the work that he was supposed to do for me, um, for for this uh, sponsored content. So. I, said, I can't wait for everybody to see it. So once you see a video, please, guys, I need us to work together. I need, I am literally imploring you guys. Once you see the video, you will know which one it is and you will know it is sponsored. Please show that video some love. I really need, I really need you guys to pull through for me on this one. Um, not only on YouTube, but also once you see the Instagram reels and you see the stories and all of that, please share, please repost. I really need this. And this is a great campaign. I think for me, it came at the perfect time because finances and mental health awareness month, it's boom, slap bang in the middle. Anyway, so I'm going to get to work. I'm probably going to wrap this vlog up here in this setting here this vlog up here now i'm trying to get two vlogs out for you each and every single week for vlogtober and uh, this one's gonna go out on sunday so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm gonna go i'll see you in the next one take care like subscribe as always thank you so much for choosing me over and over again i'm gonna go i'll see you in the next one